some of you guys have requested that I talk and make a little video about uh, synovitis in the knee. And so I'm going to draw up here some structures of the knee and then I'm going to talk about what a synovitis is and, and how you get it. Okay. So I'm going to draw here from the sagittal view, meaning we're looking from the side here. Top of the knee, the femur that comes down looks like that from the side. And then we have the tibia, the shin bone, and it's going to look a little bit like this. And then we have the kneecap that sits about right here, like so. So here we have the whole knee. Now, I'm going to draw some muscles so you get a good idea of where we're at. I'm going to draw the quadriceps. That's the front there. Then we have the hamstrings and they kind of come here. Then we have some other structures. We have the patellar tendon that comes down right here. I'm going to draw the meniscus. That sits right here on both sides. The structure that we want to look at the most is the capsule. So I'm going to remove a little bit here. capsule is a thick fibrous tissue stands like this actually comes up across it actually is all of this attaches to the meniscus on the inside of your knee and then it also has some room here that way if you bend your knee there's enough room and 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 it's not going to get too tight and so it's all of this structure here. Like that. Now, what can happen is when you irritate this joint, you can get some swelling. The reason that happens is because there's several layers to the, to the joint capsule. And the innermost layer right here is called the synovium. And that helps make synovial fluid or the lubrication inside the knee. And so when you jam or irritate this joint, it will often make more, more lubrication. And then your knee is blown up. And so we see this a lot with someone who repeatedly jams their knee post-marathon, or they take a weird step off, off the curb. They do double unders. This happens a lot. In older ages, because you have degeneration as well, the, the cartilaginous components, of the knee, then you start to get something we call our activated arthritis. So in younger populations, we see a synovitis, and in older populations, we call it activated arthritis or activated arthrosis. And so very common um, in, in all individuals, this happens a lot. If the knee swells a little bit too much, especially in an older population, you'll get something we call a Baker cyst, and what happens is because there's so much swelling and there's not enough room, you'll get a little extrusion or a prolapse of the, of the capsule. And you get a little bump behind your knee. And so if you have swelling, you feel like bump behind your knee, it's usually because of the Baker cyst that occurred there. Now, we find the treatment to be super simple with something like this. We find a good effective form of traction. We help stop the arthrogenic muscle inhibition that occurs because the swelling in the knee is happening the quadriceps will be less active. That needs to be fixed, otherwise you'll continue to keep jamming it. But this is, in essence, the joint capsule and what occurs when you have an activated arthrosis or an acute or chronic synovitis. Remember, no pain, more gains.